The book Rising Stars is all about developing millennial women as leaders. So the book focuses on junior women and how we can help them to achieve leadership positions. But it also is designed for organizations to ensure that they can create the right environment for millennial women to flourish in the workplace. What is unique about this book is that it really brings together gender, generation and leadership to explore how these three areas work together um, and can help us to better understand millennial women and how they can become leaders. In the book, I discuss three key themes. The first theme is all about self-knowledge. So what does a future leader know about him or herself? The second area relates to acquiring knowledge. So what are the mechanisms that future leaders can use to acquire new knowledge? The third area relates to social knowledge. So what do future leaders need to know about society and the cultures of their organizations in order to become leaders in the future? I was aware of PwC's work on women in the workplace for a long period of time. I was also aware of the research that was done on millennials in the workplace. So I thought it is a natural combination to combine this book, which focuses on millennial women, with the research interests that PwC has. We generally talk about three or four generations in the workplace. Normally we would start with baby boomers, followed by Generation X, followed by the millennials or Generation Y. You will normally hear that people are very focused on the age ranges, so when you were born that will determine the generation you belong to. However, we also know that generations are not only determined by the age, but also by the type of behaviors, by the type of characteristics and the traits that they display. And we know that although there's a lot of similarity between the generations, there's also some unique specific challenges that each generation faces. So it is very important that we better understand the challenges challenges that the millennial generation faces in the workplace and how their behaviors have been shaped by the environment in which they grew up in. If you speak to millennial women, you will notice that they generally say, oh, gender no longer matters to us. They have experienced that in higher education, as well as in primary and secondary education, they normally did better than the boys and men in their class. So they are very surprised to see a workplace where gender is still a major issue. So they're unprepared to face the challenges that might arise due to gender in their career development. At the same time, we do know that there are two different career models for men and women, and that at one point or another, women might face um, gender inequality. So it's important for women to be prepared, but it's also important for organizations to understand those challenges better.